guys, Grubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Horsehaven. I know it's still been a little while since I did a Horsehaven video. Um, Horsehaven has been kind of doing a lot of changes with the game. They've been updating their engine, which has meant the game has looked really odd sometimes because like certain things now are like bigger, other things are smaller on the screen, and I've personally been finding it sometimes a little bit difficult um, with it, but it seems to be working today. I haven't had any issues so far. I am playing on the PC today rather than my phone. Um, now, I haven't done anything new at this ranch here at the moment. I'm sort of using this ranch mostly to mine some of the gems. I've been slowly sort of rebuilding uh, my diamonds, especially after that huge run of ground stable upgrades that we did um, the last time. So I have uh, a couple of my horses here. I have my National Show horse. This is actually one of my favourite horses here right now. We'll just go in and see it. So this was one that I really, really wanted to get um, to tier 3 as quickly as possible because I really, really like it. Um, the National Show Horse, um, is, as far as I remember, is tier 3. Yeah, so this is the National Show Horse tier 3. And um, I just really like this horse. It's one of my favourites, I think, at the moment. I love the colour, I love the style of the horse, I love the fact that it's plotted. It's just, it looks really, really nice. So that's currently one of my favourite horses that I have. Now, I did manage to breed one of the new breeds that came out recently. I didn't manage to get all of the horses that came out in the Pure Breed Society just because I literally half the time forgot and then because they were updating the engine and a lot of changes were happening on the game, I was like, I think I'm just going to wait until they kind of iron out some of these. Um, so we're just going to head over to the French Ranch and then I will also show you that new horse that I have as well as uh, the new event. So we'll head on over to the French Ranch. Okay, so here in the French Ranch, I have one of the new giraffe breeds. Um, I have managed to breed the tier 1, 2 and 3 of this horse. Um, I also, I think it was yesterday, or possibly the day before, I managed to breed the tier 3. This is the tier 2 here. Um, so if we just have a look here. So I already have the tier 1. I bred that. I have the tier 2 and then I finally got the mythic, which is the tier 3. Um, my mythic is actually here, this little foal here, so it's not growing up yet. I don't know how far off it is. Um, I did put it into train yesterday, so we'll go ahead and muck it out. I'm very curious to see this one once it grows up. Oh, this is this is new. I've never had to groom them before. Okay. Yeah, that must be a new feature. I kind of like that, actually. That's definitely new. I've not had that before. Okay, this should insta-grow with this horse now into five. And there's our adult version of it. I really, really like that horse, actually. That's really quite nice. I love the ribbons and the mane. It's a really nice addition. And it's got green eyes as well. So now I've got a tier three female of that, and I'll probably go ahead and breed that to one of my friend's horses um, reasonably soon. The one thing that I found since they've changed kind of the display, it's a little bit, it's easier to see the kind of how different it looks on my phone. Um, maybe not so much on here. See, these are all ready to pick up. I don't know if I have enough of those. I've, I put those in. See, some of the things I feel like they've made it a lot larger on the screen and sometimes it's a little bit too much. Right, let's see which of our things we finished. Okay, we did that one. At the moment, this is giving points for this. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys this event now. So this is the Melbourne um, Cup Carnival 2019. Um, so I've already obviously made some progress on this. I've already got the 10 diamond milestone, the 50 diamond milestone. Um, I got the flamingo decoration and I'm going towards this one here. I'm not sure, quite sure what this is. I think this is maybe a headpiece. Um, and then we've obviously got a saddle and then we've got a decoration. So I've got 2,451 points so far uh, for this. Uh, you can get those from horse racing, the steeplechases, uh, quiz event, that doesn't start just yet, and then the daily quest. Obviously, we were just um, collecting points off the daily quest. You can see you get plus uh, 50 for each of those. Um, so some of those, like Nurture Horse Level 10 and so forth, um, I could work on. Um, and obviously, with the quiz event, that's not going to start just yet. We've got the steeplechases. So I already actually did a bunch of the steeplechases, you can see. But if I hover on um, one of these, can see that you get them at the first two milestones and then you get them at the second last milestone and that seems to be the same pretty much throughout them and um, not all of them I've done yet this one obviously I haven't uh, started it yet so you can see that I haven't collected from those just yet but obviously you get more points the further you go um, so I would advise doing those before those reset 
Um, then obviously I'm just going to show you the horse racing, so we'll head on to the actual event itself here. So this is over um, here on the Australia part. So we've got Rookie, um, Race Hon and Rarified Race. We're going to enter the Rarified Race. Uh, you can do 20 of these races a day and if you plan to use um, this event and get some of the rare horses from this event, I advise you do these every single day. So we're going to go ahead and take All Might into this because he's got the correct adoption for it. Right, okay, we've got to try and get the good start. I think that... Okay, we got a good start. Didn't get a perfect start. Perfect was kind of what we wanted. We can get three boosts during this. Oh, okay, I didn't get a perfect that time I was trying. And I went too early that time! <laughs> but um, All Might obviously is a diamond out. Di diamond it out and also has um, the uh, weather adaption for this. They have made the animation for this a lot faster, I've noticed, since um, they changed the engine. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Uh, but if you get first place, um, you get 54 in the rarefied race. I'm not sure if that's the same for the other races, because I don't think I can do those anymore. Uh, but you can do 20 races a day, and if you're aiming to get the horses and things and the rewards from this event, I highly recommend that you do. Um, obviously, there is puzzle pieces here at the moment, um, but I don't know that there is actually any um, little boxes this time around, so I'm not sure exactly why this is here at the moment. Um, now, obviously, we have the leaderboard, so if this will load... Um, obviously, if you're in the first 50, then you'll get the new horse, and if you're in the first 51 to 100, you get some diamonds, and the same for the rank after that. Um, I'm quite far down the leaderboard right now, so at the moment I'm not in the running for this. Uh, then we have the season star, so Lady is the season star right now, and then Handsome. So we'll head back for the moment, and I'll show you guys these two horses. So if we go back in here... And this reward thing up here, so we're not clicking this, but this here. Okay, so at the moment, um, if I had enough points, I could exchange for Handsome. Um, the male Handsome doesn't unlock for a couple of days. Um, obviously, exchanging items will not reduce your Melbourne milestone progression. So, then we have Lady. So my plan is that I'm going to get Lady, and I'm also going to get Handsome. So that is the goal that I have. I won't know how much Lady is going to cost for another 11 days. Uh, so I want to try and get 6,000 points um, before uh, this one shows up and then work from there. And then we've also got loads of decoration like handsome feet, sunbonnet red. Oh, so it is a sunbonnet, the one that's um, in the other bar. Then we've got winning saddle stripes. I like the colours for that. Uh, we got champ boots and pink, handsome mask. Then we got another sunbonnet blue, winning saddle and blue, champ boots white, handsome saddle. I like that, actually. I'd like to get that up. So basically what I usually do with these events is I try to get enough points for the two horses. Sometimes there's, well, typically there's usually two. Sometimes it's a horse that I already have, so I don't really bother with it. Um, but then I will use the rest of the points to go ahead and get some of the decoration items that open. Um, I usually try to get one of each. Or if it's one I don't like, I just leave it. Like, I probably won't bother with the sun hat, for example. Ooh, the chomp blanket and the rainbow. I like that. And um, chomp blanket and white. That's nice as well. I'm not sure if I like the plaid. I might like it or I might not. I'm not sure about that. Um, so there's a bunch of things. Then obviously down here we have some decorations. I normally don't bother with decorations unless I literally have a load of stuff left over. Obviously the big grass archway is something you can get from the regular progression if you get to the 9000. So then there's a bunch of other decorations down here. And then finally, obviously, um, you can exchange for coins. That is the thing that I do at the very, very end when I literally have maybe a few coins left and I don't have enough to uh, get anything else. I will usually exchange them for coins. So right now, the two horses are my main concern. That is what I'm going to go ahead and get. And then after that, um, I'll work on getting the tack items that I like the most and then go from there and get maybe some extra ones. Um, so that is hopefully my goal with it. So we'll go out of there for now. I'm just going to go ahead and collect some of these. So right now, that's the Melbourne Cup. That's what I want to do, hopefully. Now, Pure Breed Society, um, I already have the Appaloosa. The last event, I was only able, I think, to get the Legendary. I kind of missed out getting the other ones. Um, I really want to get the Tennessee work Walker if I can from this. Um, Australian Belt would probably I'll also try and get as well. Uh, but I kind of really want the Tennessee Walker because I kind of really like the design of it. 
Um, so, let's see if- I don't know if my tasks are done yet. Oh, they are, okay. Normally they show a little gift box when they're done. Maybe they haven't updated that. There are a few features just that aren't really working right now, I have noticed with this. Um, obviously I don't have a ten tier 1 Tennessee, I kind of probably need to actually do that. So I can speed that up a little bit. Same with that, I need to go ahead and read a tier 2. I will claim that. And we'll send you on that, I think. So, making some progress with this. Um, obviously it's still going for quite a while, so I'm reasonably confident that I can get these two as long as I can um, get a couple of more of these, um, just generally from my mines, and then use my mines to get these along with um, doing these every day. I think we should be able to get those reasonably easily. Um, in terms of this, I was working on this last night. This I need to put in more stuff to get, so I don't have enough to exchange right now with that. Right, now we're going to go to my UK ranch here. Right, okay, I've collected my coins for my horses here. I do need to clean out the paddock as well. Um, I'm still obviously breeding away at the Andalusians. Um, there is another horse that I want to start working on because it's supposed to be good for um, diamond farming as well. I probably want to use that in my fancy ranch. I think I have enough space to put all the horses I currently have in my fantasy ranch out um, and, and probably do that. I'm going to move one of these horses into here right now, into my ground stable. That ground stable event that we had where we could like upgrade ground stables for like cheaper prices, that was great because I was able to literally get so many horses um, moved into ground stables and so forth because they were so much cheaper to get during that time. Right, every single one of these horses is going out to train because I want to make um, as many of these horses level 15 as quickly as possible and go from there. Okay, that horse I think is done. That's one. That's another one that's done. Awesome. Okay, let's put those out. There we go. We also have some in our ground stable to work with. Now I'm going to go into the, the actual stables with these horses because these horses will have leveled up a couple of times, which means they'll give us a spinny wheel. Okay, so my horse having keeps crashing every time I click on these two horses. It's just having a moment. It's been doing this since um, the engine was updated. There'll just be something that I'll try to do in the game and it'll just go, mm -mm, no, you're not doing that. So I'm going to give up on that for now. Um, we're going to go on over to my US ranch here. So yeah, at the moment I'm farming a lot of items because I need them to cash in for points at the moment. I, I don't know what I think of the new engine, other than I have had a couple of issues with it. I'm hoping like when it kind of once they finish it, it will kind of everything will sort of run more smoothly because I never really had that many issues with horse haven crash, and it was usually something I would have with like rival stars. Rival stars would crash a lot, and um, horse haven I didn't really have that issue. And this is including both the phone a version of it and just playing it on the PC. So I've had sort of mixed results with that right now, but hoping that once the engine's sort of finished. I did not mean to put grass in to grow, but okay. Alright, put in some more oats, because I'm kind of low on oats, everything else I'm kind of got lots of at the minute. There isn't any other horses right now. I do need to probably get started on the Tennessee Walker, and I also need to go ahead and breed a tier 2 and tier 3 Brumby as well. I think I really need to kind of get started on that and make a bit of progress so that I can get more out of the Pure Breed Society. Um, but yeah, right now my main aim, obviously, as I said, is to try and get uh, both Lady and Handsome um, from this event here. And um, I'm going to work on that, I think, for, well, until it finishes, which is not going to be for another 28 days. But that's my plan. But anyway, scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!